My father also has a lot of um, issues dealing with his mental health. I was younger, right? So I didn't understand. But as a child also, when you don't understand, it, it makes things uh, quite challenging. My name is Nasria. Ini kasih kita. I am a stay-at-home mother and I am still a registered psychologist. But my full-time job is a stay-at-home mom and I major in psychology. So I did my honours program, so that was a four years program and I graduated with a second class upper honours. So I worked for a few years and then I did Masters of Clinical Psychology in University of Queensland in Australia. And my father also has a lot of um, issues dealing with his mental health. So when he was young, his father died when he was nine years old and it was just him and his mother. So um, he's born in 1944. So at that time, you know, it's like post-war um, when he was growing up, Singapore was just growing, right? Like it's not it's so different from Singapore today. So a lot of um, things he had to do was, you know, trying to earn money, you know, cuci pinggan, like at the jemputan, that kind of stuff. Um, and just building himself up and learning from scratch how to set up a store. So um, a lot was on his plate. Uh, he's got a lot of anxiety, um, panic, uh, especially when things are very stressful uh, and also uh, depression from time to time. So he would get like really low mood and angry. Um, and that made things difficult growing up. Uh, yeah, especially, you know, uh, for my mom and my older siblings because I was younger, right? So I didn't understand. But as a child also, um, when you don't understand, it, it makes things uh, quite challenging. Uh, so that's why I chose to study psychology. So of course, I, being young, <laughs> younger at that time i had this like oh you know um i wouldn't say naive but very noble uh dream of helping my father like cure him you know i grew up in holland drive and my father had a bookstore it's called orchid bookstore then i went to uh, secondary school and we moved house we lived in queenstown and in 1994 that's when my dad uh, closed down the shop yeah so it was, he was experiencing a lot of stress um, because there was some competition and that made him, yeah, you know, found it very hard to cope with the stress. Getting bursaries like this, um, it helped to reduce some of the burden um, and the, yeah, the stress in the family. Because, yeah, like I said, when, you know, when my father gets um, really anxious or stressed, it it takes a toll on him and it affects the relationship between him and my mom and then our family like us as children and um, it can be quite stressful so just knowing that we there is some help agencies like this in Singapore really uh, made us feel more hopeful so LBKM has given um, people like me, some hope, like we are all Muslims and it's give it's reduced a lot of burden financially and mentally on my family um, that, you know, I can still pursue my interests and my passion and um, yeah, continue my education despite like um, the financial pressures that we're experiencing and so that has um, yeah, really helped in that sense. Like bountiful blessings, kindness, and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. L is light, so light as in like noor, and you know how it, how LBKM gives uh, light to people, hope. I think that's very important, um, to be hopeful. Uh, in times, you know, as Muslims, we are encouraged to be optimistic. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he was an optimistic man. Be bountiful blessings, um, because you know. There are, or there are all, of course, all these donors. And I remember some of the donors um, that gave me the bursary because I think the name was written. So it's 
it was uh, really really beautiful to to know that okay these are the people who uh, gave me the the bursary who contributed and you know as Muslims when we give there's more barakah actually right giving is uh, is better to give than to receive so yeah I I make dua for all the donors and K for kindness so it takes a kind heart to give um, and sometimes it's not just financially. But just a smile, or your action, or your even your doa, you know that's like one of the best because it's secret. It's just between you and Allah. Nobody knows that you have made a kind of doa. Um, and the last one, and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So I think um, that's very important that you know as Muslims we hold on to um, this. Uh, role model that we have this honourable person in our lives uh, that we have as Muslims um, to follow the Sunnah as much as possible. Thank you so much to all the donors uh, to LBKM. You have truly, uh, you know, out of the kindness of your heart, um, have made a difference in many of the recipients' life. And, um, you know, I am a true testimony of that. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. So do continue to uh, donate. You, you don't know uh, how much a difference, you know, just as a small amount makes to people.